Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. Solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, one half is equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10 over 4x, and that's minus 1 over 2x. Well, I want to have the same denominator across the board here, and that's 4x looks the most complex. Well, using the 2x can become a 4x if I multiply this by 2 over 2, right? 2 times 2x, that's 4x. 1 half, or 2, can be a 4x if I multiply this by a 2x over 2x. 2x times 2 is a 4x. So, let's deal with the right-hand side first. We have 4x down the denominator, what we want it. So let's rewrite this x squared minus 7x, and then 2 times 1 is a 2, and a 10 minus a 2 is an 8. Let's move an 8 right there. Now we have this is just 2x over 4x. Now watch this. If I multiply 4x to both sides, these denominators cancel. I'm left with 2x equals x squared minus 7x plus 8. All right. So now let's get everything to one side. Subtract both sides really by a 2x here. And we're left to 0 equals x squared minus 9x plus 8. That's an x here. Let's factor. Well, general is multiply it to be positive 8, but add to be a negative 9 is minus 1 and minus 8. So x minus 1 and x minus an 8 here. Set each one individually equal to 0. x minus 1 equals 0. x minus 8 equals 0. And so x equals a positive 1 and a negative 8 there, respectively. So let's go check to see if we have an extraneous solution like they asked us to. Check. All right. To do that, we take our one of our values, plug it in for x, and see if the left and right hand side are equal. So is 1 half equal to, let's go with 1 first, 1 squared, minus 7 times 1, plus 10, over 4 times 1, minus 1 over 2 times 1 here. Okay, well, 1 half can stay where it is. Oh, 1 squared, which is 1, minus 7, times 1 is 7, plus 10, divided by 4. Oh, look, that's just 1. We got a 1 right here. Minus 1 half, pretty straightforward. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. Left and right hand side are equal, so 1's a true solution. Let's check the other one here. Okay, so the next, the next check, let's put negative 8 in. So 1 half equals a negative 8 squared minus 7 times a negative 8 plus 10 over 4 times a negative 8, a little more complicated this time, minus 1 over 2 times a negative 8. Well, again, here is just 1 half. This fraction here, a little more complicated, negative 8 squared, minus 7 times negative, let's division, negative 8 plus 10, divided by 4 times negative 8, and that as a fraction is negative 65 over 16. I might have to check that answer, but we'll see. And 1 divided by 2 times a negative 8 is negative 1 over 16, or oh, maybe not. All right, remember, negative and a negative. Subtracting a negative is adding a positive. So what's negative 65? That's 65, not 35. Divided by 16 plus 1 divided by 16. Oh, then this won't work. Something happened here. Got 4. All right, what did I do? Let's go check this. Most likely I did something here, so it's always good to check that out. Negative 8 squared minus 7 times a negative 8 plus 10 divided by 4 times negative 8. And that fraction, huh, negative 8, negative 8, negative 8. 
kind of check in here. Ah, positive eight. It's a positive eight, that's why. Positive eight, positive eight, positive eight, positive eight. So I was just gonna double check this. Oh, that's embarrassing. Square, minus seven times positive eight. But hey, good learning lesson here. I checked my work, something didn't seem right. I looked back and I just saw I put it a negative eight instead of a positive eight. Some of you probably caught that ahead of time. So this is a nine sixteenths here. This is kind of, this is me wrong. Yeah. So you have a positive nine sixteenths. Positive, yeah. Minus, well, that's one sixteenth, right? Makes sense. So you have a positive here, that's a one sixteenth, two times eight sixteen. Nine sixteenth minus one sixteenth is an eight sixteenths, right? Which is a one half. So one half equals eight sixteenths. One half equals one half. Bear with me here. Left and right hand side are equal, meaning both of these are true solutions. But hey, always, always, always a good learning experience, right? Positive one and positive eight. Those are two true solutions. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com